Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Disney. We're going to talk about Star Wars. And we're going to talk about a, an attempt, I think, to make Ahsoka happen. Mm -hmm. So we're getting uh, we're getting two different stories here about how well Ahsoka is doing. Yes. It depends on you know which metric you're using. According to Nielsen, it's not doing that great. According to Samba TV, it's actually doing pretty well. Yeah, I don't believe Samba TV. When you when we look at it in a bit, you'll see why. It, yeah, yeah. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about this deal that uh, Disney has made on linear networks for Star Wars, and apparently Clone Wars is is part of that deal. Clone Wars is going to be airing with the with this tomorrow. We'll we'll talk about that. But before we get into it any further, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. If you do, you'll get a woohoo. Woohoo! The woohoos are back. The last couple of videos were were woohoo-less. Well, I have to explain this to you for people to understand what's going on. Okay, so back when Disney bought Fox. Yes. One of the reasons they wanted to buy Fox, we had talked about it when we used to do our uh, Pirates and Princesses show, was the fact that they wanted the, the, the rights for the uh, first Star Wars movie, the New Hope movie. Mm -hmm. Because how it was set up was Fox still had the rights, I think, for the DVDs on that, and they still had those, the TV rights for that one. Yeah. Back in 2016, Fox had made a deal with Turner, with Warner Brothers, Turner, TNT, to run the Star Wars movies, 10 of the Star Wars movies, so they could run, or well, at the time, six. So long and short of it was, back when Disney bought Fox in 2019, one of the reasons they bought Fox was because they wanted the DVD and streaming rights for A New Hope, because they still had that, while other places could, were running, like TNT and Turner were running the other movies. So they, Turner had a deal with Fox. So when Disney got control of Star Wars, they wanted to get the to, to put the movies on their channels, but because the deal was in play, uh, they ended up letting Turner run with the movies, and Disney would put them on Disney Plus. Well, Turner's deal ended last month, so they have made a new deal where Turner can still with TNT and that can still run the Disney movies on their platforms, but Disney can run them on their linear platforms like ABC, FX, and Freeform as well. And in fact. Tomorrow, they're running a marathon of episodes, you know, New Hope, Empire, and Jedi, and then they're going to run The Clone Wars. And I thought it was interesting they're running the animated Clone Wars in 2008 because they're trying to make Ahsoka stick. And yeah. they're trying to get people more interested in Star Wars because Star Wars has been a declining property for a while now. Yeah, this is um, this is, is kind of interesting because most people, you know, as far as the Clone Wars movie is concerned, most people forget about. It. They're like, "Oh, that was basically just the pilot for the, the TV show," and that's that's what it was. It was just that uh, Lucas decided that you know it should go theatrical or whatever, but it was uh, not not a box office hit. That's to put it mildly. It was a huge flop. People did not want cartoon Star Wars in the theater. And uh, because it didn't do well in the theater, I remember a lot of people were like, oh, yeah, the show's going to bomb, too. Yeah. You know, but it didn't. It actually it did, did really it did well. It did really well. But the, the Soka came from this show, okay? Yes. And they're trying desperately to make Ahsoka stick. Now, at first, Ahsoka did pretty well. And then towards the end, from my understanding, it kind of jumped the shark and went yeah. over a cliff and lit itself on fire. And people were screaming and a bunch of issues because, you know, they never can stick it. They always have to find some way to fuck it up. Uh, lots of people are screaming about it. You have yeah. people, you know, screaming in defense of it. You have people screaming against it. I, I they can never get it right. They always screw it up in some way. Yeah. Uh, look at the Mandalorian. They started off so strong and then they just they by, shot themselves in By the third the season, uh, do we, no one even talks about the third season because nope. it's such a train wreck. And now the Mandalorian isn't even isn't even the Mandalorian anymore. So, um, yeah. So they're trying to make Star Wars. They're trying to bring Star Wars to their linear networks like ABC because they figure if they do that, more people will watch them. Yeah. They didn't go to the theater to see Rise of Skywalker and they don't want to pay for Disney Plus. But if we put it on there, they'll watch it and then we can, or their kids will watch it and we'll get new fans Moving forward, because we have to hem, we have to stop the hemorrhage of fans that are leaving the franchise because we've done effed it up. Uh, stop the hemorrhoids. Stop the hemorrhoids. That's the push fandom. Them back in. <laughs> push the fandom menace back into the anus. So I'm that's just what we have like, to do. That's what they're doing. I mean, because and then it's a win for them because why TNT? Everybody goes there for the Star Wars movies, and then they have to pay Disney to run them. Yeah. So they get paid there, and then they can boost the you know interest. They're hoping. 
Um, you know, so. Yeah, I mean, I did a video on kind of the meh reaction to Ahsoka from normies. I'm not talking fans of Clone Wars. I'm mm -hmm. not talking fans of Rebels, right? People that already are familiar with Dave Filoni's Star Wars, the Filoni verse or whatever. I'm not talking about those people. I'm talking about normies who are like, who the hell is Ahsoka Tano? Because most normies mm -hmm. have never seen the Clone Wars cartoon, which is probably why they're putting the movie but that's in the deal. Why. People are like, who the hell is Ahsoka? Who the hell's? And then you have to explain it to somebody who's never seen. They've only seen the Star Wars movies. They don't know much about the expanded universe or any of that stuff. And it's like, yeah, so Anakin had an apprentice between movie two and three. He just never talked about her. Mm -hmm. And it'd be like, wait, what? Yeah. would be like, yeah, yeah, he did. It's like, wait, he wasn't a master yet. He wasn't. Well, it doesn't matter. It's, he, he had an apprentice and, and she, she got gone before the third movie, apparently. And she's never mentioned. Right. And then, all. and then, you know, we had her in the, what was it? She was the Mandalorian season two. She was in the Mandalorian season two, which probably confused some people too. And then, um, you know, now they're like going back and they're, they're making all kinds of references to rebels. And again, casual star Wars viewers, normies who haven't watched the cartoon shows. I'm not talking to star Wars fans have consumed everything star Wars for years. I'm talking people who watch the star Wars movies and that is it. Mm -hmm. Okay. They don't know who the hell she is. They don't know who the yeah, rebels characters you are. you watch those shows or you watch, you know, um, Mandalorian, you're not going to know. No. So uh, they're trying desperately to like get her out into the public, and then Veron Disney Plus is still paywalled. Where if they put it on ABC or like where they're going to put it on FX, and then you know they, have, they could put it on ABC and Freeform also. Um, people are more likely to see it, and then they can build it up because they need to do something about Ahsoka's numbers. However, it depends where you go to look because on this is uh, Nielsen. This is Nielsen. Yeah, it's coming from uh, Cosmic Book News. Nielsen's rating says One Piece is way ahead of Ahsoka. The Ahsoka dropped off a cliff. Now this was for the end of August, beginning of September. Yeah. Now, Anakin has popped, spoiler, Anakin has popped up in flashbacks and whatever, and, and I think people's interest might have peaked a little bit. But again, you know, we had a, we had a show about Obi-Wan and Darth Vader, and people noped out of that, too. Well, only murderers in the building is below Ahsoka here. Um, too, which is weird because it just got picked up for a third season or fourth season, whatever season it's on, because I think fourth or is it third? I don't know. Whatever season it's on, because it's like their one, like their number top, like their top streaming show on Hulu. I, you know, I've been, this is one of those shows where I keep seeing commercials for it. I keep seeing trailers for it and it looks good. And then after like an hour, I forget it exists. I'm like, oh, I'll have to go check that one out. And then it's been like three years and I haven't bothered. <laughs> well, this one, this is now. This is Samba TV. Now, this is Samba for September eighteenth or September twentieth, twenty fourth. Yeah. So they're saying Ahsoka is ahead of one. Now, one now piece. Now, one piece is out a little bit at this point. Yeah, it dropped again. This is that binge model. Mm -hmm. So it dropped. One piece dropped. So now they're saying Ahsoka is ahead, and Elemental is actually the top. Yeah. So for this for this time frame for this time frame according to Samba. Now, Disney will probably be like, "Oh, look, Elemental was a win, guys. It was a win because it was the top streamed. It was worth spending 200, 300 million dollars on this movie." Um, but it does seem like they're trying to basically educate the public about who the hell Ahsoka Tano is. It's season 4 because it says that was season 3. Okay. For only murders in the building. Okay. How many murders? I was very confused. How many murders in one building know. can you have? I don't know. I've never watched a show. That's like Murder, it's She very Wrote. very popular, though. Yeah, Murder, She Wrote. Like, every week somebody else dies. And I think they had an episode or two where they're like, hey, Jessica, uh, every time you show up someplace, somebody dies. Well, I'm looking at this, too, though. Disney has the not one and two spots, allegedly, according to Samba TV, but almost all of it's Netflix. They yeah. have Hulu with only murders in the building. Um, and then um, Apple TV has one. But it's almost all Netflix. Is it like that in, on the Nielsen's back in – now it was a different time frame. Yeah, it's almost all Netflix. Yeah, Wheel of Time. <laughs> one Disney Plus, one Hulu, and the rest – you know, one Paramount Plus, and then uh, one Prime. And the rest were all Netflix. Yeah, so uh, Ahsoka Season 2, as I understand it, has not been greenlit yet. But that could be because of the strikes. Um you know, I, I, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm, this is not a show. I mean, I know Star Wars fans are watching it, especially people who are fans of the cartoon shows. I casually watched the cartoon shows. I wasn't super invested in it, but if it was on, I would watch it. Um, I think the thing is though, is that like, you don't hear people talking about this show. This isn't like a water cooler show, you know, like the not Mandalorian, like, yeah. the Mandalorian was like, everybody was talking about the Mandalorian. They're like, oh my God, Star oh, Wars. Loki, Loki season two is going to be like that. Yeah, Loki like, people are going to talk and talking about it all over the place. 
I do not think it's Ahsoka is. No. So I think, I think you're right. I think they're trying to make Ahsoka happen. They're trying to get interest in Star Wars. And look, what, what kind of kept trying to Star- get interest up in Star Wars. Yeah, they need to get interest up. They need new... We need new Star Wars fans. I guess what they're trying to do. They're like, oh, well, people won't pay. They will take their kids to the theater, but they'll play it on TV. And, you know, maybe those kids will be fans now. Uh, you know, I'm going to be honest. They're that the original trilogy. Yeah. Uh, but that might actually work to some degree because I remember kind of what kept Star Wars alive in the 90s was that they kept running it on sci-fi in USA. Mm hmm. Because they had to deal with Universal with NBC, and I used to watch it almost every time they'd run it. And, <laughs> so and they I have, loved it. Yeah, and it was like they had to do like a whole weekend, and they'd have like the Vader helmet. Well, they with had the, the one with Carrie reflected. Fisher where she was hosting it or yeah. whatever. Yeah, I and I was that. like, I remember, I remember being all excited, and I like waited and waited because they'd have like the commercial breaks wherever she'd make comments about it, and I was so excited to watch that. I remember that. Yeah, R.I.P. But um, you know, then when they brought the special editions out. They actually made a reference to that because they're like an entire generation grew up watching Star Wars on TV and they had it like on a little TV set mm-hmm. and then they blew it yes, up. Yes, into the, the big thing in the yeah. Like, yeah, which yes, is cool. Yes, I loved it. So it might, I mean, they basically turned Star Wars into a TV <laughs> show anyway. When I and saw that on the screen, I was like crying. I was like, oh my was God. It Independ- I think it was Independence Day they ran it before. I don't remember, but I went to see, well, I was going to see the movie anyway, but I think I went to see it just because I wanted to see the trailer for that. And then when it, I was like, you know, I just started bawling. And then they were like, you know, for, you know, new generation or whatever. Yeah. And he did, I'm, you know, I'm like a Jedi like my father before me or whatever at the end. And I was just like. Bah! Then you every know? time you went to go see the special edition, they always had the trailer for the next one. Mm-hmm. It was like the extended trailer. And- I'm sorry. Just thinking that makes me a little weepy. I just was so excited about it. And now I'm just like, what? Now I want to cry because you, you, you done like overcooked it <laughs> i'm like you know yeah it's like a steak that thing's a that thing's a brick now <laughs> you know it's it, it like, is charbroiled it is just like uh anakin's dick it's it's uh it's it's, it's falling off, it's, falling off. <laughs> i meant because it was burnt to never mind so i'm sitting there thinking it's crumbling oh off. god i'm waiting for i'm waiting for another like disney star wars brain fart did you know they, that Luke and Leia had another sibling that Anakin uh, got together with some blue haired Imperial officer when he was Darth Vader. Did you know? And be like, bitch, his dick got burnt off <laughs> in the lava. Like, like he, he ain't got no, he ain't got no dick. No, no. It was someone found it and it was, oh my God. Still usable. <laughs> so they cloned it. <laughs> like, like the hand. <laughs> they cloned Anakin from his dick. They found his dick on Mustafar. They made made children from it, you know, and then they're like, you know, well. I can see Palpatine. the balls for that too, but you know what I'm saying. So Palpatine, they have like a scene. He like reaches down into the, into the, uh, the dirt and good, good. (laughs) Yes. I will make a clone army from Anakin's penis. (laughs) I think that was the plot of episode nine. I haven't seen episode nine yet. Is that where is that where Ray came from? She no, was cloned I don't from know. Anakin's She's dick. cloned from from his. I think she was like one of the kid of his clone. I don't even understand. What I was it like is. Palpatine's I don't even care. aborted clone don't fetus. Care. Then had a baby. I stopped paying attention after Last Jedi. And Last Jedi was you were you were struggling to get me there. I was like, a chance. I'm like, okay, maybe they'll fix it. Maybe they're going to make new stuff and it'll be good. Yeah, it starts and out with a go- new hope all over again. Yeah, and then I was like, within the first like minute, I looked at you and I said, what the fuck? Poe makes a crank call. Yes. And I looked at you and I was like, like what, what the, the hell? hell are you watching? And then after that, I was out. So, you know. I, I actually, I actually threw my hands up in the air a couple times in the theater. Like when Leia's going through space, I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. Space never. Space Jesus. Yeah. Space Jesus. Never. I uh, never saw the rise of Skywalker. I've seen clips. Never I have seen it at all. Zero desire, zero desire to see that movie. But as I understand it, uh, Ray was yes, it was like she was like the his, one of his clones' kids or something. I one don't of his clones. It. How are you related to this guy? Oh, uh, you know, uh, cl- I'm the daughter of a failed clone. So I, I don't know where to go with this. I think we're going to wrap it up. Right? <laughs> I mean, it's like Disney with Star Wars. I don't know where to go with it. I don't think they know where they're going with it. I think at this point we have reached um, spray and pray levels of, you know, panic. I think I, I don't know. I mean, they're definitely they're definitely worried about something. They're there's no worried plan. about Ahsoka I mean, because they're like, you know, why, the Clone Wars, the movie. I mean, why that one? Like, they just got rights back to run. You have all the 11 movies you can run. So you run the original trilogy, which you know people will watch. Yes. 
and then Clone Wars. Not the prequels that, you know, arguably some people don't like. Not the sequels that a lot of people don't like. But you're going to run the ones that everybody, like, likes. And then the, and then lead into the Clone Wars animated movie with that. Yeah, that is weird. Um, yeah. You know, I mean, because they're, they they're not because they're doing it in order or anything. Because they would have done the, the prequels. And then put the Clone Wars in between, like the the second and third one. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you were gonna if you were gonna do it in order, technically you should be shoving the Clone Wars in between uh, episode two and three. But then you've got a whole series in there that you have to explain all. Right. This but I'm stuff. just saying. So so the Clone Wars it doesn't really fit with the other three. No. But they're tacking it on as part of the marathon. I yeah. mean, yeah, featuring. Maybe they're gonna run all of them. I don't know. But that's. It's weird. It is a little weird. I wouldn't have, I mean, this, to me, that belongs with the animated series. It is the pilot mm -hmm. for the animated series. And, but that's the whole nother thing. That's, you know, cartoon. I'm just saying that. Why do it unless you're trying to make Ahsoka stuff? Yeah, trying to make people like, oh, that's what Ahsoka is. I'm going to go watch this show now. That's she is. Oh, okay. I'm going to go subscribe to Disney Plus just to watch this one show. Yeah, that's who they're gonna go They're going to subscribe Disney Plus to watch Loki. Yes. <laughs> that's what they're going to do. All right, we gotta wrap this up. Yes. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.